For a continuous function fx, if fa and fb have opposite signs, then equation fx equals 0 must have at least a root between a and b. You can sketch the graph of a continuous function in one stroke, without the pen leaving the paper. For a discontinuous function, there's some break in the form of the graph. We know fa and fb have opposite signs. So the two points, a, fa, and b, fb, are on opposite side of the x-axis. One is above the x-axis, and the other is below the x-axis. If the function is continuous, to draw from a to b in one stroke without the pen leaving the paper, the graph must cross the x-axis. It may cross once, like this, or cross multiple times, like this. Those intersections with the x-axis are roots of fx equals 0. Therefore, fx equals 0 must have at least one root between a and b. If the function is discontinuous, then the graph can break in the form, like this. It may not have any root. So the theorem stays true only when the function is continuous. Verify by calculation that the root of tangent half x is 4 over x lies between 2 and 2.5. Let fx equal tangent half x minus 4 over x. If fx is 0, tangent half x is 4 over x. f2 is tan 1 minus 2. Remember to use radian mode on your calculator. The result is minus 0 0.443, which is less than 0. F2.5 is tan 1.25 minus 1.6, which is 1.410. It is greater than 0. The exact function values don't matter much. We only care about the sign. There's a sign change. So the root lies between 2 and 2.5. In this class, we learned the intermediate value theorem. For a continuous function fx, if fa and fb have opposite signs, then equation fx equals 0 must have at least a root between a and b.